Hey gamers, who's back to a story? So we did all this shit, I don't remember anything. We went up, we killed people, and now we're going to go to the airport. Uh, think of you, what do you want to do at the airport? I thought we were going to fight terrorism or something. No, we're going to be terrorists. Oh, I'm, but I'm not a terrorist. That's not what the government thinks. Oh. So here we go, Buzz is in the car. I uh, thought the government thought I was a communist. The government doesn't think about you. They blacklisted me. They think you're black. So here we are. The floor is made of Legos, and I don't know where Buzz thinks he's going. Which part of the airport even is this? The, the, the underside. Oh, oh, no, there's the a Mexican. Mexicans again! They let Mexicans in the airport? Not recently. Oh. It was a recent change. They had to disallow them. And Donald Trump doesn't like Mexicans in the airport. Oh, no. So, now the most important thing about being in the airport is you have to get there two hours early, because otherwise, they'll kill you. Oh. When you get there, they'll shoot you with a gun. They have to check your shoes for hot sauce. For snakes. <laughs> for snakes? And as you can see, they, they, they did a bad job. There was lots of them just running around in this airport factory, along with all the Mexicans. What do they make at the airport factory? Well, I don't know what else you would call this. Look at they it. They make airports at the airport factory? I hope so. Otherwise, what am I going to do with my life? Uh, well, the last time I was at an airport, I was seven. Oh, uh, did you have any fun things? Um, let's see. When I was last on a plane, right. I watched the movie Junior. Okay. You know the movie Junior. Yeah, I do. Uh, it's about Arnold Schwarzenegger having a baby with uh, Danny DeVito. Right, of course, that's the Hollywood power couple. So I was seven years old, and obviously no one had taught me about the birds and the bees. Right. And how babies are made. Of course. So I uh, was very confused by this. I didn't understand how babies are made. So I thought mm -hmm. Danny DeVito impregnates a man. Well, that's how it usually works. Yeah. It, then, nowadays, they can get other DeVitos to do it, but <laughs> typically that's how it works. So, was, so yeah, Danny DeVito impregnates a man, and, right. and the man has to give birth to the baby. Mm-hmm. And so they made a seven-year-old watch this movie on this plane. This this Look. this movie, a seven-year-old who could not escape this plane had to watch this horrible movie. Look, clearly they had thought this out ahead of time, and they realized this was the perfect family-friendly movie of the, the season. So I had to watch that movie on the plane when mm -hmm. I was seven. It confused me very much about uh, childbirth right. and uh, how babies were made mm -hmm. and. I, uh, so that was the first traumatic thing that happened to me on the plane. The oh, other traumatic thing that happened to me was I, I had to sit by myself on oh, the plane. That's bad. They, they separated me from my horrible family, oh, who no. I don't like. Your horrible mother. Uh, but, but since I was a small baby at the time, I don't think I was aware I didn't like them. Right. So I was upset about being alone and with strangers on the plane. Of course. They gave me a cup of water. And I, I, uh, I spilled it on myself. Oh, no. And I cried a lot, so then they, they let me go sit with my mother. Why would they even separate a young, stupid child like you from their mom? I'm not sure why they did that, but they did let me move finally after I spilled the water on myself. So, you know, after, after, after they completely screwed me up as far as, you know, how babies are made, right. and just, I was soaked with water, they finally let me sit with my mother. And then everything just got worse. So then I went to Colombia, mm -hmm. I got bitten by a rooster. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think they have rattlesnakes in Colombia. I hope not. Um, I got bit by a rooster, there were cows there. Did you get bit by the cows? When I was there, my mother said to me, she said, said, uh, do you want to go see the, the goats? Mm -hmm. And I misheard her and ran away screaming because I thought she said, do you want to go see the ghosts? Oh, no. And in my little baby brain, I imagined that she said to me, like, like go ghosts. And I pictured in my head, like, Pac-Man goats. Right. Like, inside of, like, a, a pen yeah. at, at the farm. Yeah. Yeah. Like just kind of floating around oh, in yeah. there. Oh yeah, that's how that's how ghosts work. <laughs> and that just scared me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why. To I imagine that that's what she thought. Well, that's like. your point of reference for ghosts <laughs> in that age. What else were you supposed to think? <laughs> I thought that there was just a, a pen full of Pac-Man ghosts that that she wanted me to go mm. visit. Well, that's how the video game leads you to believe they live. Yeah. So the Pac-Man ghosts at the at the farm. 
that my aunts owned. Mm-hmm. So how, and, how were the ghosts? Uh, I didn't see them. I ran screaming away from my mother and got bit by a rooster instead. <laughs> 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 oh my god so yeah we had a lot of fun in Colombia, and then we we came back home and when we came home um uh my dad greeted us at the airport mm-hmm. and he he'd grown a beard while we were gone and my right. dad had never had a beard before and i think my mother didn't allow it right. so he had taken advantage of the situation yeah so <laughs> when we came back he had a beard and i didn't recognize him so oh, um, no so i was very upset and i screamed you're not my daddy and i ran <laughs> away from him <laughs> and you never saw your I dad know, again i, I, I wish if only oh my uh so i wonder i wonder how like the airport people responded to that situation of yeah. a little girl screaming you're not my daddy they and pro- a man let's be honest they probably didn't give a shit their job sucks <laughs> maybe nowadays they would have reacted more harshly to that like well, a kidnapping situation only code amber or whatever i don't know only because they have to otherwise they can't keep their cushy tsa job so uh yeah colombia colombia is a neat place i wish i could live there just because it's like it's an average of like 58 degrees all year long oh boy well, at least the part where my mother's from it is and the rest of it is just frozen solid <laughs> no, you're thinking of antarctica i'm thinking of uh, ice age starring <laughs> R- R- ray romano <laughs> How did Ray Romano even get caught back in time like that? How did Ray Romano get a career? Oh, no. <laughs> Deborah. It was a really weird movie, though. You know, he's back in time. He's got transmogrified into an elephant. And, and there's a squirrel who really yeah. wants to eat a peanut. <laughs> and, and he has to try to prevent the end of the world, but I... I Something involving the peanut ending the world. Yeah. The, no, pe- the no. peanut is the key to all of it. It's kind of a sad movie, you know, Ray never gets to see his wife and kids again. He's yeah. stuck living out the rest of his life in the prehistoric times. What, whatever happened to that peanut anyway? I think it rotted. <laughs> it's pretty gross. <laughs> whatever happened to that peanut? You'll never know. Did they ever make the sequel where they go to space? Um, probably, but nobody watched it. They were uh, busy watching the Funny Minions movie. Oh, yeah. I hate that Minions movie. I don't think this button works. Yeah, you should go push it. No, I'm busy. <laughs> so I'm lost in the airport. This is how they handle your baggage. I lost, I missed my coin. This bird's a real bird. <laughs> so my my favorite Danny DeVito uh-huh. and Arnold Schwarzenegger movie is right. Twins. But they look nothing alike. That's why it's so funny. Mom, it, it's like that one uh, Muppets movie, the Mupp- Great Muppets Caper, where uh, Kermit and Fozzie are twins. I thought you were talking about the newer Muppets movie called The Muppets, uh, oh, where no. it, they're brothers, but one of them's a Muppet, and mm-hmm. one of them is that guy from How I Met Your Mother. No, this was when Kermit and Fozzie were twins. Oh, I don't, I don't remember that movie. Yeah, it was pretty good. I gotta good. rewatch all the old Muppet movies, because I... Uh, uh, I think I did that mm-hmm. recently, but I was all hopped up on psych meds oh, and, and no. like crazy. So I, I only vaguely remember watching that bad uh, Gonzo movie nobody liked. Oh, that thing. I never even saw it oh, because it I knew it looked time. bad. Oh, it was a bad time. Nobody liked it, and that's why the Muppets kind of went into stasis for about 20 years. And then they died. And then they brought it back more recently. But th- that's why they hadn't made Muppets in mm. a really long time. It's because that movie was so bad that they were ashamed of themselves. Oh, my gosh. I guess I can't blame them. It's true. Did you know that Disney fired uh, Kermit's? puppeteer uh kermit's puppeteer yeah uh yeah oh yeah i think so um i'm pretty sad about that it's kind of fucked up of them eh. i didn't really like his kermit voice very much mm-hmm. it was a little too high for me it was and pretty it just kind of bugged my little my little very picky brain yeah. i think there are other people who could do that voice better probably but it's messed up because he was doing it since you know jim passed and um oh shit and basically, uh, the whole all the Henson kids turned on him for what things that wrong? weren't his fault. What well, did he do? Well, apparently he kept, you know, um, bothering the Disney people about how the direction that they're writing the Muppets. That shit, not being apparently, you know, d- 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 good um. and upset by how they were writing Kermit and by how they were handling that TV show. Um. 
Well, but, may- maybe he'll get a better job now. Yeah, but apparently the Henson children are fucking retarded, uh. and they blame uh, they blame him for the direction that Kermit's character went, even though he's an actor, not a writer. Uh. But I guess when you're a Henson kid, you don't have to have a brain. <laughs> I hate those little fucking brats. <laughs> you need to calm down. I you're hate them, and I hope they're... Calm down, you're making this video not funny. I hope their new Dark Crystal movie falls in the toilet. Follow me on Twitter, you stupid idiot.